Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all well. Today we are going to finally rearrange my bookshelves together and I am so excited. I've had this job on my to-do list now for several weeks and then obviously I got COVID so I didn't do it. And this is the first weekend that I've had a proper energy to sit down and actually do something productive. So this is what we're doing. We're gonna rearrange my bookshelves. So this top shelf is not changing um, simply because I've got nowhere else to store any of the stuff that's on it. So the top shelf staying the same. And then all I have is these three shelves. Now they're in disarray right now because I actually removed moved a ton of books off these shelves a few weeks ago um, and ever since then I have basically needed to do my big rearranging situation. So my thoughts at the moment are that this top shelf is going to be for Sarah J Maas books and also for any fantasy and fantasy romance. This shelf is going to be for dark taboo romances and then this bottom shelf is going to be for everything else. I might put Dark Academia on this shelf as well. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but yeah, the bottom shelf is going to be for everything else. Now, I definitely need to dust all my shelves. And then I need to just take anything that's currently on them off to figure out, you know, make sure I'm keeping everything and everything else. I'm also going to start a pile of DNF books down here. Not DNF. Unhaul books down here. Um, but yeah, this is the plan. I honestly, I don't know how it's going to go but it needs to be done so yeah because I have so many books now on my TBR that need to be fitted on here and it's starting to stress me out also it's not the most ideal place to have a bookshelf because I have this skylight right here which shines directly on the books and it does mean that they get some sun damage it's completely unavoidable um I can't have the bookshelf anywhere else in my room I have tried so what I'm gonna have to do is I normally double stack because they're quite deep um, so essentially it gives me like six shelves. Um, so I'm going to obviously put all of my favourite books and all of the books that I want to really look after, like my tour editions of Crescent City, for example, at the back. So they won't be visible when you're looking at the shelves, but I will know they're at least protected. And then anything that I'm not as bothered about getting sun damaged can go at the front. This is my thought process. Um, I don't actually know how I'm going to film this either because I have like no space to sit at. But um, first of all, we're going to take all the books off the shelf and clean the shelf. And then we're going to sort everything. Oh my God, I'm going to regret doing this. Okay, so this is chaotic to say the least. Um, also, I love how my shelves have literally like bowed under the weight of my books. I don't know if you'll be able to see that bowed, bowed. Oh God, is it supposed to do that? I don't even realise this lifts up. Anyway, I'm going to dust these now and then we can, um, <laughs> we can figure out getting this lot back on there. There is definitely still space for new books on here. It's just whether or not there still will be when I actually arrange them how I want them to be arranged. Okay. This is not the vibe for filming that I thought it was going to be, but like, it's fine. Um, they're dusted. They're ready to go. So we're going to start with fantasy and fantasy romance. Now, I want obviously my Sarah J Maas books at the back, but I also have a copy of Lord of the Rings that I want at the back because it's the 50th anniversary edition. I want to keep that book in good condition. And then I also have Empire of the Vampire. So I think I might put Empire of the Vampire and Lord of the Rings to the this side of the shelf and keep this side for Sarah J Maas and see how that goes but I don't think it's all gonna fit. Best laid plans and all that. <laughs> okay okay this is this is fine this is gonna be absolutely fine hmm okay well let's keep crescent city to the back and then that 
pants at all paid back so that can go for that as well okay okay hmm i'm debating putting my original covers of um akata like away and just having the new paperbacks out so that might be a vibe or do i have some of these lying flat that could also work Okay guys, so we've got the fantasy and fantasy romance shelf done. I've actually taken off Empire of the Vampire and Lord of the Rings because I need to figure out somewhere different for them to go um, because they're just not going to fit on that shelf. So I think I might put them on the bottom shelf because the middle one doesn't fit hardbacks, which is really useful. Um, so at the moment, this is what the shelf is looking like. So I've left space here because I've lent out the rest of my Throne of Glass series to my best friend, so I'm just waiting on her to read those. And as soon as she does, obviously, they will probably fill up the rest of that gap. But we have all of my Sarah J Maas hardbacks at the back. So we've got the special edition of Throne of Glass, the American hardback, or just the hardback. Uh, the hardback of Kingdom of Ash, the hardback of Court of Silver Flames. We have both tour editions of House of Sky and Breath and House of Earth and Blood. My regular edition of House of Earth and Blood. My Waterstones exclusive edition of House of Earth and Blood. I couldn't fit a quarter frost and starlight with the rest of the original covers. So I just put it up there for now. We've got my House of Sky and Breath um, Waterstones exclusive and then behind there we have my two US paperback editions, one of Throne and Glass and one of Crescent City. We have my UK Crescent City paperback and then we have the original paperbacks of A Court of Thorns and Roses down there. Um, I'm kind of scared that this is going to get sun damaged so what I'm actually going to do just until the rest of my Throne of Glass books are back is just to have them like that because I'm just so paranoid about those tour editions getting wrecked because I spent way too much money on them. So then we have my Shadow in the Embers book and also the From Blood and Ash series as it is so far. Um, obviously there's going to be another f two books in the Blood and Ash series and I don't know how many there's going to be in the Shadow in the Ember or Flesh and Fire series so it may be that we run out of shelf space for these but I mean it is what it is. I mean, we're going to run out of shelf space anyway because I think this is going to fit on everything that needs to fit on now and then I have something like 120 books on my TBR which I don't know where they're going to go but that's a problem for future Lucy to worry about. I then also have my uh, Demon Queen Trials book one and book two. I loved book one, City of Thorns. Lord of Embers I wasn't as enamoured by but it was still pretty good. So yeah, that's those so far. And then I'm going to put these the right way up when uh, my friend finishes a Throne of Glass and then obviously that will be my Throne of Glass shelf. So now we're going to do this shelf which is Dark Taboo Spicy Romance, aka my favourite. And then the bottom shelf is going to be Contemporary and everything that doesn't fit on this shelf basically. <laughs>
Okay, so shelf two is pretty much done for now. So we've got Den of Vipers, Kings of Quarantine. I've got the second book in this like series as well that I'm going to be reading soon. So obviously that will go next to it. Then we have the Sinners Duology by Sophie Lark. We have the first book in the Sinners of Saint series. I really wasn't like enamoured by this, so I'm not going to bother continuing to read it. But um, yeah, we have Vicious, Voya. I have the second in this series by Fiona Cole. Um, so obviously that will also join the shelf. Then we have my Penelope Douglas collection. It's got Punk 57, Birthday Girl. I love Birthday Girl. Credence, which is still probably my favourite taboo that I've read so far. Followed very quickly or even in joint first place with Corrupt. These two books were like two of my standout books from last year. This is the Devil's Night series. We have three of the old covers and three of the new covers. Honestly, guys, I don't want to talk about it. I ordered these without knowing that the covers were about to switch and I'm so upset because I hate the new covers and I love the old covers but whatever. Lilac I nearly put down a shelf um but this is definitely still to be this is like reverse harem and there's definitely some moments in it that are a bit like yeah <laughs> so this didn't belong with contemporary romance neither did the initiation this is the first in the filthy rich american series by Nikki Sloan I loved this book loved this book i want to get the rest of the series at some point um so yeah that will also obviously end up on the shelf hush 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 by lucia franco this book honestly nearly finished me off like it was so sad and i loved it so much and this little novella i'm actually gonna put my other lucia franco book next to that one and then they are together so that is your think of me i wasn't actually that like amazed by this like i didn't think it was that good um so I was a bit disappointed. A Touch of Darkness. I actually bought um, A Touch of Malice today thinking that was the second one and it wasn't. It's A Touch of Ruin so I've now ordered that one off Amazon as well. So the last two in this series um, will be arriving soon and then I can read them and finish it. Her Soul to Take. I loved this so much by Harley LaRue so I need to get the second one. Black Sunshine by Karina Halley. I didn't love this. I read this last summer. I don't know if I need to reread it because honestly it feels like something that I should love because it's vampires and I love vampires. So maybe I'll reread when I'm in more of a reading mood because I read this like right after my accident and I wasn't really like in a reading mood. Also look how battered this poor book got. I'm so ashamed. Then we have uh, Priest and Midnight Mass by Sierra Simone. I have Sinner as well from the series so this will be joining uh, the collection very soon. I loved Love, 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 loved this book. Highest Bidder, wasn't a fan that much by Georgia Lacar. Like, it was a very quick read, but wasn't enamoured. A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. Oh my god, adored this book so much. Same with A Diary of Blood. And then we have the first two books in the Stay With Me trilogy by Nicole Fiorina. I have book three on my TBR pile, so I need to finish the series. But, like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So, basically, now this shelf is going to house all of the rest of the books that didn't fit on these two shelves. This will be a mixture of like contemporary romance, literary fiction, dark academia, and regular old fantasy, and also some horror, I think, as well. I'm also gonna put the Addicted series on here, but I'm thinking of putting the Addicted series front and centre because I'm obviously hoping to finish that at some point. So, yeah, this is where these are gonna go.
now put Empire of the Vampire and Lord of the Rings on this shelf here um, and then just like move them when I need to. In fact that's exactly what I'm gonna do and then hopefully it should create a little bit more space. I've basically tried to keep all the books that I'm like really really um, particular about like uh, obviously not in uh, The Path of the Sun but unfortunately you know there's only so much you can do about that and this is all I've got to work with so we make it work um obviously kind of a temporary solution because I have like a hundred and however many books that need to fit on the shelf at some point um <laughs> so that's going to be tricky but I guess I can utilize you know techniques like this to create more space um so it will be fine like it will work I'm also trying to unhaul more books at the moment um, if I'm not like completely in love with a book or if it's not a book that I have any kind of sentimental connection to then I'm unhauling so currently on my unhaul pile we have Law by Alexander Bracken didn't hate it wasn't obsessed with it not going to reread it and then also um, The Grimrose Girls by Laura Pohl as well which again I just wasn't like enamoured by so books that are being unhauled I keep to the side down here and then once the pile gets big enough I take it to the charity shop um but yeah that's where we're at at the moment I think I will definitely this Lord of the Rings book I might put up above Rebecca on my classics actually no I won't because I need space for War and Peace to go back so no these two books are going to go on the shelf down here excuse my phone beeping in the background and then we are done okay guys so that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please do as always give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and i will see you in another bookish video very soon bye guys